Hello, bruv. We've got more books. Been holding these for a week or two, bruv. The Claiming of Sleeping Beauty by Anne Rice. What the fuck is this, bruv? I didn't even notice. I should have noticed. This book's worthless. Fuck, bruv. Roth, a writer in his books, Unbound. Claudia Roth Pierpont. Yeah, sounds like a rare, a real fair arbiter of truth. She's got to be related. Maybe not. Anyway, Philip Roth was a writer who died a few years ago. Maybe this year. Maybe last year. I don't particularly like him, but I don't particularly dislike him either. And now I have... A bio. What's this? What's this ghost? Is that his book? What do we know about ghosts, bruv? After winning two National Book Awards, goodbye, Columbus. Blah, 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 blah. Roth was back at the top of the bestseller list right behind Stephen King and Dan Brown for the first time since Portnoy's complaint, which had won nothing. I don't know, bro. This book I've been threatening to buy for months. Playing with fire. Do nice people really go to hell? I hope they do, bro. Including me. I actually looked for this book yesterday when I went, even though I bought it a week ago. Shows you how much I remember, bruv. What's the premise? Entertaining the biblical blah blah as a dynamic author. I believe it's about believers who believe but not deeply enough and are good people. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's like the good atheist. He still goes to hell, bruv. Don't care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We dropped him, friend. We dropped him. Lullaby. Chuck Palahniuk. You all know Fight Club, bruv. These, this is another of his other books. Dark riffing on modernity is the reason people read Palahniuk. His books are not so much novels as jagged fables, cautionary tales about the creeping peril represented by almost everything. Great, bruv. The Pupil by Poems by W.S. Merwin. Don't remember why I bought, bought this, but I believe it was a 10 center. Maybe a 50 center. I don't know. Mist iridescent over the rice fields. Mountains far away, those gray fish running so that they scarcely seem to be moving. Rolled hay camped nearby. Hey, how long ago the day is when at last I look at it. As you see, each of the stars has a voice. No, it doesn't, bruv. The nightmare years, 1930 to 1940. William Shearer, memoir of life and times for the Nazis. <sighs> Mostly boring, but we got enough Hitler books now. Never enough books, bruv. Look at these fucking idiots. Hey, we're uh, socialists. But we're, the, we're not that kind of socialists. Yeah, you are. Antonio Sauci, The Fourth Secret of Fatima. Or is it Fatty Ma? On June 26, Vatican officials, including Cardinal Bertone, released what they claimed was the third secret of Fatima. They further said it was a prediction of the attempted assassination of Pope John II in 1981. Antonio Sochi, and claimed Italian journalist and television personality, originally sided with the Vatican's interpretation of the third secret. 
However, he needed to write a book. That's what we got then, bruv. The Harper Hall of Perrin by Anne McCaffrey. Just some sci-fi that I plan to sell. It's in good enough shape, so I might as well buy it, bro. You might as well buy it. What's this? Oh, no. It's all right. We'll get through it. We'll get through it, bro. The Dragon Riders of Pan by Anne McCaffrey. Another one in that series. Another one up for sale, bro. Don't give a fuck about sci-fi, but I'll sell it. This book I do give a fuck about. No, I don't. Those dirty, rotten taxes. The tax revolts that built America. Charles Adams, author for good and evil. The impact of taxes on the course of civilization. These are real bad. Hey, we're only taxed 25%. That's the cost of modern life. No, it's not. You're getting fucked. This is what should happen to these motherfuckers. Look at that. Ah. Unite or die. We choose to die, bruv. Samuel. Was that Hancock? Could have been his brother. Yeah, this is great. Another Dragons of Pan. Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. Author of Fight Club, bruv? Yes. Tear in the cover. It's the night. I start answering the phone again. This is after I'm so horny I have to go downtown and hunt for something to steal. This isn't so much for the cash as to get off. It's okay. The caseworker says it's okay. It's a sexual release, she tells me. It's perfectly natural. You find what you want, you stalk it, you grab it and make it your own. After you've had it, you throw it away, bruv. It was the caseworker who got me started shoplifting in the first place. That's hilarious. Dawn of the Clans, Warriors, the Sun Trail. My child used to read the Warriors series, and I bought numerous books. And I still buy numerous books, even though my child won't even acknowledge the Warrior Cats. Don't know how many of these I have now, bruv. But it's not enough. I'll keep buying them. The Scale Hunter's Beautiful Daughter. I bought this for the Mylar jacket. Don't know anything about the book, bruv. Don't care. The Wakeful World. Animism. Mind and the self in nature. Oh, <sighs> I bought this for 30 cents at a half off sale, bruv. Don't know if it's worth anything. I hope it's worth 10 bucks. I can sell it. That is, if it doesn't have any writing in it, which it doesn't seem to. Disney's World. You know, Walt. Or so it seems Walt was not part of the pedophile cabal, which has now taken over Disney. Don't think he was. Who knows? He did have a mustache, bruv. That's the first sign of a man gone astray, bruv. Solo mustache. Look at him. Hitler. Stalin. All of them. Mustaches, bruv. This ain't gonna come off. Good, bruv. That's gonna have to stay, bruv. Hope I can get 10 or 15 bucks for this one, bruv. 1985. Very unusual cover in that it has the letters colored like that. I like it. Varieties of moral personality. Ethics and Psychological Realism, Realism by Owen Flanagan. Again, another book. I don't know if it's got value, but it's got a good title, bruv. We'll keep it.
and sell it if we can. Norman Mailer. Oswald's tale. You know Oswald, you know my Mailer. Come on, fucking book, bro. The definite and definite articles are not employed in Russian. Nor is the verb to be, one would not say. The man is in the room, but rather man in room. Which is why those Russians who do not command much English invariably sound brusque. On the other hand, a construction like man in room does tend to make you aware of the man and the room both. One was tempted, therefore, to dispense with articles and the verb to be during the first half of this book, for it would have given an overpowering Russian flavor to the prose. A full effort in that direction world, however, have tortured the English language beyond repair, and so only a suggestion of this difference is present. Let me then wish you good reading and happy accommodation. The small liberties taken with King's English. I believe this is non-fiction. Baskerville. Norman Mailer was born in 23. We got one more book. The war is untold. <laughs> untold story. Look at these kittens, bruv. It's great, bruv. Real great. I guess I'll have time for all the books I bought. Russian criminal tattoo. I don't know if this is worth anything. But there's a postcard in there, and then there's boobs everywhere. And naked bodies with fucking worthless tattoos. Oh no, what is that? Nice sunglasses, bruv. Hang, hey, look at us. Jesus. You're a cool guy, Igor. Yeah, you too. I'm not a particular fan of tattoos. In fact, I think they're stupid, bruv. Oh, no. But if I can sell it, that's great. Memento Mori. Right. Yes, I have two copies of Triad, the book that inspired Stevie Nicks to write Rhiannon. Anyway, this is my copy, which I'm probably going to sell, although I'm conflicted on the matter. Anyway, I bought another one today. It is a really nice one, bruv. At an estate sale in Detroit. It's worth about $75. And I may sell it, or I may not, bruv. Let me see what else I can grab, bruv. A Victoria, Victorian grimoire, enchantment, romance, magic, Patricia Telescope. It's basically just herbalism and ways to make spells, altars and sacred space. So we'll go no more roving. Plum pudding with sauce for you all. <sighs> the First Lady of Fleet Street. The Life of Rachel Beer, Crusading Heiress and Newspaper Pioneer by Elat Negev and Yehuda Karen. Whoa. Panoramic portrait of a remarkable woman in the tumultuous Victorian era on which she made her mark. The first lady of uh, Fleet Street chronicles the meter. Meteoric rise and tragic fall of Rachel Beer, indomitable heiress, 
social crusader and newspaper pioneer, rich with period detail and drawing on a wealth of original materials, the sweeping work of new, never before told history recounts the ascent of two of London's most prominent Jewish immigrant families. Oh, so they were the London papers. I thought, for some reason, I thought they were Philadelphia above. Shows what I know. Oh, no. The camera's gone. Portrait. We don't want portrait, bruv. All right, let's get to newer books that I got yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Honey recipes, bruv. With a touch of the old and a bit of the new, here is a cookbook that just that's just right for you, compiled by Michigan Beekeepers Association. 1977. We all know what the hive is about, bruv. What is this then? Cake, cookies, and icing. Lemon coconut pie, bruv. Honey, oatmeal, honey, favorite honey. Honey, oh, honey, pecan butter balls. Werewolves and Will of the Wisps by Dirk Greenhoise. Truthfully, I thought this man's name was Dick Greenhoise for many years, but it's not. As you can see, it's removed from its the binding. Its pages are removed from the binding, but I have two copies already, bruv, so what I figure I'm going to do is disassemble this book. Or at least flatten it everywhere. Just destroy the spine since it's already. And I can scan it and make it available for bravs everywhere. Many pages. It's only like 75 pages, bro. Maybe 80 or 90. Boy, I can just pull it apart, scan it. And now it's readily available, bro. Although it may be on Internet Archive already. And Rice Lasher. From the day of first Vampire Chronicle was published, critics and readers, readers by the hundreds of thousands have been mesmerized by the writings of Anne Rice and with the publication of The Witching Hour. She created for us yet another world and legend, and both the chorus of praise See back of Jacket and the multitudes of her readers once more increased. Now in her new novel, Anne Rice brings us again even more magically into the midst of Dynasty of Witches she introduced in the Witching Hour. Anyway, it's the first edition, so I got it. It's not in the pristine condition I prefer, but it's a first. Decent jacket. Heavy ass book. There's the vampire Armand. Again, not perfect condition. But first edition, nonetheless. Give it a Mylar jacket and it will look nice, bruv. It will go with me ever. Copies I got violin. Blood and gold, Memnach the Devil. So, I've got many of these series books. First, all first editions, bruv. Paid a buck a piece, I believe, for most of them, and some for 50 cents. So, the set, you can only imagine how much it's worth. In the cards, find your future in any deck of cards. This is Cardomancy, bruv. Being together, going together, working together. The shoes. Need to get back to doing some readings. See you lay out the spread like that. The client is symbolized by the card number one. All the rest of the cards are placed accordingly to the position shown above. Seems like a nightmare to read. This is the kind you want. 
This is the perfect kind. It's very easy. All right, bro. I thought that book might be worth something, but it really isn't. Chicago's Manson's Manson's. <laughs> All the Charles's you could fit in Chicago, bro. Look at these fucking houses, my God. These are mansions, bruv. Galore. I'll sell this book if it's worth a lot of money, bruv. But pages are falling out, so I probably won't be doing it. Yeah, they're falling out. What's this? Armadillo's pillow. Did not know the pages were falling out, bruv. Just another reason to keep the book. The Grateful Gatsby, Gatsby. How one of the NHL's def greatest defensemen found a balance between the wonder of the life and the violence of his sport. I believe he's in the Hall of Fame. Are you in the Hall of Fame? You gotta believe he is. Anyway, all these books that are put out by guys like How and Mo. Oh, it's signed by Gordy, too. That's fucking great. Patsy and Jim, kindest regards, Bill Gadsby and Gordy Howe. Both of them signed it, bruv. That's probably worth at least 20 or 30 bucks. Bucks, not books. Though, is that signed on that, too? Sure looks like it, bruv. Got a double signature here. I think he's in the Hall of Fame. I don't know. Regardless if he is or isn't. Let's bring out some more books, bruv. Oh, no. 22 minutes. So you can't see my credit card, bruv. Oh, man. I need to go to sleep. Dreams. Omens from your dreams and A to Z to the mysteries of sleep. Well, this morning, bruv, I actually set me alarm because I woke up at like 10. And I didn't want to sleep past 11.30, so I set me alarm. And you know what I did, bruv? Right before my alarm went off, I heard somebody calling me. They said, Bob, Bob. Actually, it was more like, Bob. And I woke up and then literally, less than a minute later, I woke up, bruv. I woke up and then the alarm went off, which was curious, very curious don't know what it means to help me better understand why Gene Turnbull yeah 46 pages Thomas Paine common sense and the turning point to independence all lost now because we got a fucking half wit society all right prof the Back to Eden cookbook, which is basically raw food, cornmeal muffins, oatmeal or soybean muffins, health muffins, old fashioned beaten biscuits, bruv. You beat them. Soy milk, soy cheese, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to try to sell it for $12.34. Jeffro Kloss, pioneer nutritionist. America's secret aristocracy. If 
five bucks, of course, because no one wanted it. No one cares about the aristocracy. But there is the name in there, Iams. I-J-A-M-S. Who built a park? A park? A park in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, where my child resides. And there's mentions of them in here, so... I didn't really look further into it, but that was notable. Kennedy's Avenger Assassination Conspiracy and the Forgotten Trial of Jack Ruby by Dan Abrams, who's a fucking a mess, but it's a book. It's written in 2021. Dan Abrams, Mr. Woke. Confirmation, the hard evidence of aliens among us. From what I hear, Whitley Strieber is pretty much the lowest of the barrel of shysters in the alien world, but don't care. Well, look at that little, look at your little glow, bruv. Confirmation, look at those eyes. Look at I'm shining. Apocalypse, wow. I have some of these books. You know, the ones, the politically correct Old Testament, Enlightenment, all that shit by this guy, James Finn Garner. So I figured I might as well pick this one up, bro. The Prophet Sleeps Tonight. Is that Casey? It is. I don't know what it's about. Memoir for the end of time. That's pretty funny. <laughs> the Odyssey and the Omer. The Odyssey of Iliad and Odyssey of Omer by Alfred Church. Eugene Carlin. Ottawa School. Petoskey, Michigan. Yeah, you all know what this is about. The Odyssey and the Iliad. Summer on the lakes in the 1843. The lakes they're talking about are the Great Lakes, but it seems the center in Chicago. I don't know if it's good for me or not, but they mentioned Mackinac, so it's got some my chicken connotations. That's good for me, bro. Lastly, but not least, well, yeastly, Noam Chomsky, Pirates and Emperors, Old and New, International Terrorism in the Real World. I have other books by Chomsky and don't agree with him, but whatever. What's that got to do with anything, bro? So now I have like four or five books by Chomsky. Great. Cheerio.